least recommended option for a blind, deaf person getting into real estate. It started investing immediately out of state with online auction, using hard money with a major Burr project. And it turned out kind of exactly how you might imagine that would do. It became a major pig of a project. The rehab budget ballooned out of control. I mean, it was it was, it was wild. And it was actually double what we'd uh, budgeted. So we bought the place for uh, about $65,000. Uh, we were budgeting $50,000. So total project of cost of $115,000 for an estimated ARV of $165,000. So perfect 70% rule if it had gone that way. But like I said, the uh, rehab budget doubled. We spent a little over $100,000. So the math being never lying, uh, that's $165,000 we put into the house to get $165,000 ARV. Uh, <laughs> well, lots of lessons learned. Right? <laughs> that's that's the only way to make that a win, right? <laughs> However, uh, and thankfully, we didn't only miscalculate the scope of the project, but I also uh, miscalculated um, uh, a few other things. Like we uh, we were going to turn this into a long term rental. We thought it was going to get um, about a hundred. No, it was a uh, twelve fifty in rent each month. We actually rented it for uh, more like fifteen. Um, so that was really good. Uh, yeah, that's not, also, that's not a bad, yeah. not a bad rental at all. And uh, we actually we had when we were going for the for the cash out refinance, the appraiser had it appraised uh, appraised it at one hundred or one hundred ninety five thousand dollars. I think we got we got very lucky there, but not just with the appraiser. We got we got lucky with the market, and we got lucky with our contractor who was just a magician. Uh, apparently, this place um, must have been built by Keebler Elves back in the 1930s. The the powder room um, you could still wash you can wash your hands while still sitting on the toilet. Uh, <laughs> that's just a bonus. See, that's yeah. just an upgrade. Yeah, that's that's a convenience. <laughs> that's efficiency right there. But the truth is, um, I mean, I, it, we might have actually been built with untreated lumber because there was so much wood rot. So much so we had to buy that ten thousand dollars more lumber just to brace everything up. I think the roof was being held up by the nineteen fifties wallpaper, but uh, it all worked out. We, uh, we moved um, the contractor. We actually moved a, a bathroom the, that powder room around and ended up with more livable square footage, which aided the you know the overall uh, valuation finish the garage and just one great example of how forgiving real estate is 